Okay. After spending as much as 30 million and wading through years of delay, the director of The Godfather, Francis Ford Coppola, has brought an epic film of Vietnam to the big screen, finally. Here's critic Jeffrey Lyons. The result of all the time and money and hardship and pre-release publicity in shooting Apocalypse Now is really two movies. The first and most of the film is superb. A CIA assassin, Martin Sheehan, is heading upriver towards Cambodia during the Vietnam War. His mission, to kill a Green Beret colonel, Marlon Brando, who has gone insane. He's heading his own fanatical army, in fact, of Montagnard tribesmen. Now, as long as sequences like these appear before Brando, and they do for about 105 of the movie's 246 minutes, Apocalypse Now is stunning. runs 146 minutes. Anyway, under Coppola's direction, Brando, alas, as the crazed colonel, turns in a muddled, mumbling performance, almost a Brando imitation, in fact. His final segment is pretentious overall and plotting, turning a gripping, stunning film into an uneven, flawed one. But the movie, nevertheless, you must see this year for its special effects, its direction other than Brando's work, and its grandeur and its sweep. But it is far from perfect, alas. I'm Jeffrey Lyons. That's our report for Killers.